Honestly, Mrs. Hadley, that sense of humor of yours will be the death of me yet. <laughs> the things I tell you, Maggie, it's lucky we're such good friends. Excuse me, Mrs. Hadley. I'm sorry to disturb you, but your husband has just arrived. He's in the study. Kamal is here? Thank you, Sarah. His fourth visit home in as many months. We're honored. Excuse me. So, Sarah, how is Mr. Hadley? Is he in a good mood, you think? Not uh He looks about ready to blow a fuse. Why? No idea. You better get to work. Oh, um, would you like something to drink? Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> that was weird. Is everything all right, Mr. Hadley? No, but I'll survive. You were in deep thought over there. Penny for them? Oh. I... I was just thinking about my son and your daughter. Wouldn't it be nice if... Hmm, what would be nice? If they could... Could always stay as they are now. What? At this age, I mean. They're so wonderful at this age. Children. I mean, so... So... Yes, indeed. I understand you had a wonderful time yesterday. A... A wonderful time? Yesterday evening? Yes. It was quite quiet, really. So, what did you do? P pardon? Last night? Well, I... We stayed home and watched telly. It's nice to have a relaxing evening at home with your own family, ain't it? Ugh! Dirty little liar. <gasps> Mrs. Hadley, are you okay? Let me help you up. Let me go. When I needed your help, you didn't give it. I... What? Oh, I'm truly sorry, Mrs. Haley. I didn't get the message. I... I think I should get back to work. Yes, I think that would be best. <sighs> Maggie, I'm sure you're worrying about nothing. But Ryan, you didn't see the look on her face. I did. I'll pick it up. Hello? Maggie McGregor? That's right. It's Sarah Pike here. Oh, uh, how are you, Sarah? Fine. Er, uh, okay. Look, I've got some bad news. I'm listening. Well, Mrs. Hadley has asked me to inform you that that your services at the Hadley household will no longer be required. She will pay you four weeks wages in lieu of proper notice plus give you a good reference. She... she's really sacking me? I'm sorry. I see. I'm really sorry. Between you and me, I think it's grossly unfair. It's okay, Sarah. It's not your fault. Sorry, Maggie. That's okay, Sarah. Thanks for letting me know. Bye, Sarah. Bye. That's the end of Jude's education. But we promised him we paid for him to carry on at school. Pay with what, Ryan? The leaves off the trees? The hairs off our legs? What? We'll find a way. Now, Ryan, we're barely managing to survive as it was. What will we do without my wages coming in? Jude will have to forget about school. He'll have to go out to work. You'll get another job. Not with another cross family, I won't. Do you really think Mrs. Hadley will stand idly by whilst I get another job with one of her friends? Um, yes, exactly. Ryan, we're in trouble. I know. I'm going to see her. What the hell are you talking about? 
I've worked for that woman for 14 years, ever since she was pregnant with her daughter Minerva. Seeing me is the very least she can do. I don't think that's a very good idea. Ryan, I need to get my job back. And if I have to beg, then so be it. No, Maggie. No. I don't like it any more than you do. But we have no choice. That was a lamest joke, Callum. Whatever, dude. Whatever. How did it go? Not so good. Oh, um, I bumped into the mailman and he wanted to give Lynette this letter. I have a feeling it's from one of her friends. Where is she? Probably upstairs. All right then. Hey Jude, hey Callum. Hey. Sweetie. I am in no mood for jokes now. Where is Lynette? Um, Mom, she's upstairs. We're serious. Yeah, well, that was funny. She wasn't upstairs when I was in her room. The bathroom door's wide open. What the hell? Oh my gosh, Lynette! Oh my goodness, I'll call 911. Lynette, my baby. Hello? Is this the police? Yeah. Um, I need to find my daughter. Her name's Lynette. She's 18. And, and she just disappeared. Please, help. Thank you so much. Steffi, isn't it nice just hanging around in the park, studying whatever? Yeah, it really is, actually. All calm, and it's only the two of us here. Can I kiss you? Pardon? Can I kiss you? What on earth for, Callum? Just to see what it's like. Do you really want to? Y yeah, I do. Ugh, all right then. But make it fast. Do you want me to tilt my head to the left or to the right? Um, which way do girls usually tilt their heads when they're being kissed? Doesn't matter. Besides, how should I know? All right, wait a minute. Oh, no you don't. Wipe your mouth first. Why? You just spit saliva on the bush. Ew. Oh, fine. Done. Okay. Hurry up! Ew! What did you do that for? It wasn't that bad, was it? I do not want your tongue on mine. Why not? Because our spit will mix up. Well, it's meant to. Well, okay, okay, goodness. The things I do for you. Let's try it again. That's enough. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? Didn't you like it? It was okay. Ugh. Have you kissed any other girls beside me? No. Any cross girls? Nope. Any not girls? No means no. So why did you want to kiss me? We're friends, aren't we? Of course we are. And if you can't kiss your friends, who can you kiss? What's the matter? Nothing. What are you thinking? About you and me. Sometimes I wish there was just you and me and no one else in the whole world. We'd drive each other crazy, wouldn't we? <laughs> Sefi, do you ever think of just escaping? Hopping on the first boat or plane or you come across and just letting it take you away? I do. 
but I do. Where would you go? That's not the point. This place is like the whole world, and the whole world is like this place. So where could we go? This place isn't so bad, is it? Depends on your point of view. You're on the inside, Seffy. I'm not. Wherever you went, I'll be there with you. Though you'd soon get bored with me. We better get on with it. What's the lesson for today, teacher? So what are we doing today? Okay, okay. Honestly, the sun was too warm and the sea is too blue to do any schoolwork. Callum, you've already passed the entrance exam. Why do we still have to do this? I don't want to give any of the teachers an excuse to kick me out. You haven't even started school yet and already you're talking about being kicked out? You've got nothing to worry about. You're in now. The school accepted you. Being in and being accepted are two different things. Besides, I want to learn as much as I can so I don't look like a complete dunce. I've just had a thought. Maybe you'll be in my class. Oh, I do hope so. Wouldn't that be great? You think so? Don't you? You shouldn't answer a question with a question. Why not? Do you mind? No, not at all. Ugh, stop it. <laughs> Callum, wouldn't, wouldn't you like to be in my class? It's a bit humiliating for us not to be stuck in the baby class. What do you mean? I'm not a baby. Gee, Suffy, I'm 15 for heaven's sake. In six months' time, I'll be 16, and they're still sticking you in with 12- and 13-year-olds. How would you like to be in a class with kids at least a year younger than you? I... well... exactly. I'm 14 in three weeks. That's not the point, and you know it. The school explained why. You're all at least a year behind, and... And whose fault is that? Until a few years ago, we were only allowed to be educated up to the age of 14. And not only schools at that, which don't have a quarter of the money or resources that your schools have. Sorry, I didn't mean to bite your head off. N you didn't. Are any of your friends from your old school going to join you at Heathcroft? No, none of them got in. I wouldn't have gotten either if you hadn't helped me. Come on, we better get to work. Okay.